Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the portfolio. Again, I want to thank everyone out there for supporting the channel. If there's a video that you want seen posted on the channel, please let me know. Always looking for new video ideas, new stocks to research. And again, if you guys have any comments on this video, other videos, please let me know in the comment threads down below and I'll do my best to get back to you guys as quickly as I can. For today's video, I thought I'd do another dividend capture video going through three stocks that have upcoming ex-dividend dates this next week. All three stocks that you can jump into, qualify for the dividend, and then hopefully jump out of that stock in a positive swing trade. So a dividend capture and swing trade. For today's video, I have stocks that are in the portfolio currently. Two blue chip stocks, I think, that are good as buy and hold investments as well. And then a higher risk stock, but a very high dividend yield as well that I don't think is a great longer term stock. It's in the portfolio, a stock that I picked up initially with the portfolio, but I definitely would not encourage investors to jump into that stock for the longer term. So having said all that, let's jump into the video here. As you see up on screen, the first stock that has an upcoming ex dividend date next, this next week is Intel, INTC. If we take a look at its earnings, you can see it's been posting phenomenal earnings here. Last quarter, quarter three, 2018, beating its expected earnings per share by quite a large margin there, 140 versus 115. Now, if we take a look at its graph up on top as well, you can see that it's been kind of going up and down over the last uh, few months here. One week down 1.53%, one month down 3.36%, uh, pretty close as well in the three month period. One year, you can really see that up and down pattern here at one point eclipsing $56, I think it was up around $57 at one point. It has pulled back a bit here over the last five years. Very good investment, 126.90. It has been getting some of its market share back from AMD, the other large semiconductor chip maker out there. But so far, very, very good. And you can see a very good dividend yield as well. 2.3% on the last dividend payment. The upcoming dividend payment will be 2.6%. So the important numbers for Intel, the ex dividend date is on the 6th of November. So again, you have to buy the stock before that date and then you can sell on or after that date, you'll still qualify for the dividend and hopefully you'll also have a positive swing trade as well. The payment date will be the 1st of December, 30 cents per share for a dividend yield of 2.6%. So very good blue chip stock that is uh, minimal to dividend capture swing trades as well. So the next stock is also a stock I have in the portfolio. Another technology stock, International Business Machines, IBM. If we take a look on its earnings, it's been a little bit up and down with regards to earnings. Here you can see Q3 2018, right at its expected earnings per share. Q4 2018, expected January 21st here, excuse me, January 22nd here after hours. We can see Q4 2017 had much greater earnings than the last year, the last three quarters anyway. Take a look up on top here. You can see a very large pullback in the price of IBM here. One week, 2.82%. Over the past one month of trading, 23.53%. Three months, 21.04%. We take a look at its longer term graph here as well. You can see that large pullback here, uh, really highlighted on the five year graph here. This whole has to do with a merger or at least acquisition of Red Hat RHT for $34 billion. That occurred on October 28th. A lot of investors, as you can tell from the graph here, are not uh, happy with that particular acquisition. Very large acquisition could really change the overall direction of IBM. I uh, haven't read too much about that particular acquisition, but this may be a very good stock as a contrarian play as well. Again, I'd have to read more about that acquisition with Red Hat. Maybe a few of you guys know a little bit more about that than I do. It definitely has had a large impact on the price of the stock. So this could be a contrarian play moving forward as well, but I still believe it's a blue chip company that you can hold for the longer term. The important dates for IBM, the ex dividend date is on the 8th of November. Again, you have to jump into the stock before that point and then sell off on the 8th or thereafter to capture that dividend. The payment date is the 10th of December, $1.57 per share for dividend yield of 5.4%. So I think this is probably one of the best stocks to jump into right now for a contrarian play. Again, this is my opinion only. I am not a financial expert. Please do not take my advice alone. Do your due diligence and research these stocks. But I think this is a very good contrarian play. I think, I think it's also very good for dividend capture swing trade as well in the shorter term. 
So those are the two stocks that I believe would be longer term buy and hold stocks to jump into, capture the dividend, and then if you can't get out of a trade, you can hold it for the longer term for very good rewards over the longer term. The other stock here is the highest risk stock in the portfolio. It has been in the portfolio for quite some time, and you'll see the volatility here. That stock is SDR, Sandridge Mississippian Trust 2. You can see the current price, 124. If we take a look at a longer term perspective here, you can really see the up and down pattern in the stock, uh, especially over the past one year of trading here, it's up 9.51%. But over the last five years of trading, you can see here sort of trending down here, stabilizing uh, before having some shorter term volatility here. You can see I have a position of $352, 284 shares. The overall lost about 15% or so. Again, it's got a very good dividend yield current or at least the last dividend payment, 27.373 dividend, dividend yield. And you can see on the bottom here, this is a trust. It does complicate taxes a bit with regards to at the end of the year filing your taxes. So for Mississippian Trust, the important dates, the ex dividend date is the 8th of November. Payment date will be the 23rd of November. Five cents per share for a dividend yield, just over 16.6%. So a bit less on that last dividend payment there. Uh, but a very high risk stock. You can also see the market cap here, 61.66 million. And really a lot of volatility in the price of the stock with an overall trend down here over the past five years, down 65.4%. It has stabilized over the past one year though, as you can see here, it is up 9.51%. So those are the three stocks for this week. Again, Intel, INTC, I think is probably one of the better buy and hold stocks on the, on the list here. IBM would also be uh, okay, buy and hold stock, a contrarian play overall, probably the best mix of risk and reward overall. And SDR as the stock you see up on screen here is definitely the riskiest stock with the highest dividend yield with regards to the dividend captured this next week. So let me know if you guys like those picks. If you guys have better picks, always interested in seeing what kind of stocks that you guys are trading in this type of strategy. High risk, high reward with this type of strategy. Definitely do your due diligence before jumping into a stock. I typically only put a large amount of capital into stocks that I'm more than happy to hold for the longer term. If I jump in for dividend capture, if the stock does start trending down, more than happy to hold it for the longer term and waiting until that stock gets up above the uh, stock price that I bought it for. So again, if you guys have any ideas on new videos, any stocks that you guys are taking a look at this next week for dividend capture, let me know. With that, I'll end the video. As always, if you guys enjoy the content on the channel, if you guys enjoy the video series, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next video, we'll see you then.